What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back, and it's time to try for the drop pods again. So, uh, the first time we tried doing this, y'all remember what happened. It did not, did not end well. Um, so we're gonna Heart of the Wild. Let's just do it. Let's try it over here. Try it over here. Enemies in loot level 32. I should be able to handle level 32 enemies. The problem is just stuff is so... There's so many. And even as a class that does tons of AoE, there's just, yeah, there's too many. Dish out some death and dismemberment, Outrider. Because we got more insurgents knocking. What do you say you help me out once more? Like in the good old days. So anyway, we're going to try this. Um, if things go poorly, we are going to just play with randoms and open up multiplayer. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, go on the, the solo struggle bus again. Yeah, that, that Aether Blade that comes down, that's nice. Closest thing I have to a long range weapon. Keep coming. The thing is like I don't I don't know how to how to fix my tankiness issue. Like I feel like I'm just a I deal a lot of damage, but this is, uh, oh my god. Those of you that play MMOs, I am the definition of a glass cannon at the moment. I'm just, you know, I'm doing the deeps, but I also can't survive if something sneezes on me. And I know there's like, there's, there's perks to help offset that, but, I mean, even when we were doing the whole, uh, overheat gets me armor, it didn't, it didn't feel like that did anything. I was still like my my best solution to stay alive is to kill them faster than they can hurt me. Elite after elite after elite.
god. Four more skulls? are actually kind of kind of bringing the business what are, oh my god Let's see there's half my health I wonder if there's anything I can get that that uh decreases the cooldown time of like weapon abilities like something that can make my anomaly blade trigger faster anomaly blade i like how th that's doing a lot of damage One done. Artillery support incoming. Coast looks clear. Oh, they were firing on that to open. Oh, okay. What the? That's one of our pods. We'll be landed on the insurgents. Can't let them have Too far for me to get damage him. I'm shooting every six seconds or whatever my anomaly blades are going. Legendary, this thing was on the, the short list of getting replaced. It just doesn't do damage. Actually, I might even have something now I could replace it with. Big size clip, eight, no. Clip size, one. Yeah, let's go. Break you down. Yep, 
This is way more useful. I think I'm gonna get gold. Open the gate. Is this it? Do I complete it in time? No, I don't. There's a whole slew of enemies I gotta fight past still. Son of a bitch. Shotgun eruption seems to work pretty well. This is the boss zone. A look, a Moloch? I'm fighting Moloch? Oh, bro. This might go really bad. I might, I might get wiped here. Great. Much bullshit. Wow, you're actually getting fucked up. No, you little bitch. Damn. You fell like a sack of bricks. And it looks like he's actually dead? Remember that freak I fought last time? The one who nearly buried me alive? Am I gonna have to dig you out of the rubble again? Not this time. 
He's sung his last. The pod's ours. <laughs> Great! Then, out of curiosity, can you explain to me why that pod didn't land with the rest of them? Maybe it got stuck in the tube. Or maybe it just wanted to fuck with us. <laughs> Level 30. Oh, feels good. But not too bad. Um, what do we got here? Armor pierce, long range damage, and status power. That's pretty nice. I gotta put Pompeii on. And then Fire Frenzy. Pompeii, Fire Frenzy, and uh... Brew Blast. Pompeii, Fire Frenzy, True Blast. Most of the time, FRNs just seem to worsen the versions of complete inhumanity. We've proven that all it takes is Pompeii. Fire Frenzy. True Blast. Okay. Um, as for you... Death Chains on Sniper was actually really nice. I'm gonna go with that. Um, we're gonna replace this. I need, I need a heavy assault rifle that I can use to burn people with. So let me... I mean, look, we're not going to use this no matter what. I'm going to take this off. Um, can't take it off. Let me just put on something that's garbage for now. Mark, break down those, sell the rest. I can't believe Moloch was just some random scrub I had to kill on, a, on one of those drop pod missions. I fully expected it to be like a big showdown. Automatic shotgun and clip. No, should I just link up to four enemies sharing 30% of their weapon damage and 15 anomaly? That wouldn't be a bad because I'm going to be aiming to burn stuff. Hmm. I like that it's status power and healing received. That that's the best I'm seeing right now is that that submachine gun. Let me check his inventory. Can't afford anything. 15 clip size. I don't think he has anything I would have wanted anyway. 40. Perpetual mobile. First shot after reload becomes an anomaly projectile dealing 76,000 damage. That sounds so freaking crazy. I mean, I think part of it is because it's a level 45. So the damage is obviously like grossly higher than most things. But this too, shots inflict ash on enemies and shots a ricochet to another target. That has some big synergy there for me as well. We're gonna pick up that submachine gun. How much is a 61,000? Ugh. So expensive. So expensive and I'm broke as hell. Shots spawn an anomaly energy blast. We're getting rid of that. Damage link's not bad though. We're going back to the fire. Um, I 
wouldn't mind tier three fire bullets, but fire on reload is uh, mark of the stake. I can get by with that. It'll work really well. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks like we we just got to fight our way through these these drop pod things. I might hop into multiplayer to do it because honestly, they are just so chaotic. It's kind of a shit show. Um, so I'll wrap up here next episode. I'll just be going through and doing these with some randoms and we're going to push all the way up to the final boss and that'll be that. So stay tuned and I'll catch y'all soon with more Outriders.